All right, so this is gonna be an odd video. Usually, I'm doing more things for World War II. However, what we're about to look at is gonna be more stuff from the War of 1812. Now, this is also a test video because I have a new GoPro camera. No, not GoPro, this is a Samsung S20. Uh, bought it off of eBay. And I know you can probably see more of my nose and my cheek right now. I'm trying to play around with it a little bit more. So right now, we're in a park, which is now a park. Uh, this used to sit a fort of 1812. Now, I'm not familiar too much with the War of 1812. This is a fort called Fort Miamis. They do here have... A lot of little um, markers and shows like what things used to be like. And you can kind of still see where all the trenches, I would call them, would be. And all of the little uh, sharpened wood sticks and stuff like that would still be all down in here. Where you can kind of see how it all slopes down. So you can kind of see... Everything slopes down and curves all which way. Now, the park that owns this did put like a little walkway over here and also a little tower down here, which we're going to go up that, the walkway over here. My personal preference is I like it, but you don't see much by standing on it, which, I mean, you can see more of the little dips and things in that nature. Now, I've seen a model of this fort once before, and I wish they would rebuild it. I know that will cost a lot of money, but there's also some issues with that. It's a smaller little park, and it is, you know, just a small little quiet park for people to walk around, walk their dogs and whatnot. I am probably going to get a lot of people looking at me right now because there are people that walk here. It's not, you know private or anything like that it is open to the public but i'm walking around with a world war ii ranger helmet on and not even in the rest of my reenactment gear i just have my helmet on so like i said i'm trying to test to see what the audio seems like and also try to see you know me moving around walking running i'm going to try to run down the little embankments just to kind of see how this camera holds up i have it in with a heavy duty adhesive velcro and hopefully that works um got the idea from another reenactment buddy of mine he has the same kind of setup what i did for the fort megs training videos which i may take a walk up there too which is not too far from here I did all that stuff with the GoPro. Now the GoPro would sit on the actual helmet of my in my little first aid kit. But the problem with that is by doing that, I feel like I have to look at the ground for you guys to get a good view of everything. I want you kind of do like a POV kind of view, see what I'm seeing. But if I'm looking at the ground, just so you guys can see a good video, kind of sucks. You know, I did a Memorial Day parade and I rode in a World War II, well, Korean Jeep with uh that was actually jamie farr from the movie mash it was in that movie and he was actually uh preceded in that jeep as well now i didn't show any of that footage i had to delete it because with the gopro that i had on it was on my helmet in my little first aid kit pouch but the problem with that was with it having a canvas on the jeep all you saw was windshield and top of jeep canvas and that's it and even if i looked out the sides you didn't see much of anything, so it kind of was a bust. Now, like I said, where I'm at now is a uh, Fort Miamis, or was Fort Miamis. What I know about this is when the British took over this uh, fort, they did burn it down to the ground. And there are some stuff here that gives you a little bit of, you know, uh, stuff about the war and how things have. Now, from the uh, diagram that I saw once before, when you look at this part here, um, is would have been all down in here. Now, 
from where the hills are, the little spiked things would be, that would have been front of the fort. So technically, we would be, you know, front of the fort, things in that nature. But everything on over here would have been the actual fort. There is a pathway to go down here. I am not trying to die today, but all this has eroded away, uh, mudslides and hillslides and stuff like that. So this is the biggest reason why they can't redo the fort because it's all unstable ground. Now they did, like I said, build this little crow's nest walkway. Ooh, big old spider web here, which kind of gives you this thing is swaying a little bit of a better view. Now, I forgot to tell you, I also kind of hate heights. So, you kind of can see, I wish they would chop some more of these trees down, but out here in the water, more of the fort would sit lower down so they can actually just pull up, uh, unload the ships, and things in that nature. Now, I'm trying to get my bearings here. Through this tree line here, there is another fort, Fort Megs, uh, which did take some barrages. Now I know it's not the church straight in front of me. There's another church out here towards uh, what is called Perrysburg that used to be a British artillery section. Now there is an artillery section marker over there and a little cemetery and things like that. And from my commander, who's actually a big historian for the War of 1812, actually told me when they started remodeling houses out here and breaking ground, they found a lot of unexploded artillery shells and cannonballs and all different things of nature, which is a little sketchy, especially if you do a lot of metal detecting for like World War II stuff. Please be careful because that stuff is so unstable. And if you look for that kind of stuff, you know, you, you, it's, it's unstable, so it could, you know, blow up and all that other fun stuff. Now, like I said, if you kind of look out here, this would have been, you know, we're looking out of the fort. You can still see, hopefully you guys can see my finger here, all the slopes and everything where they would have had, you know, the defenses, the spiked, uh, sharpened sticks. There's a proper name for them, but I cannot remember what it is. But they would have a lot of more defenses and all that kind of fun stuff out this way. Now, like I said again, I, this video is, is still trying to give you guys something to see in some bit of history of things. Uh, excuse me. But it's also something to do, you know, as an audio test. I just wanted to just... I still plan on posting this. Um, and hopefully, you know, you guys have done an amazing job for that video of me shooting the M1 carbine. I am in static with or in love with that video you guys and you know that thing is the most viewed video that I have I, I appreciate that guys you guys smash that like button subscribe I'm trying to do more as I can come around you know I have more free time now on my hands so I'm trying to do as much as I can now you know I, I do plan also I'm gonna like I said run I am NOT a runner there's another pathway that leads down here, a little overgrown. Um, I know there are people who come and kind of clear this stuff out because there is a way to get down here to the edge of the water. Don't plan on doing that. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to this, test, do a test video, but also, you know, see how the audio is going to sound. Um, I wish I would have been able to do some shooting today, but fortunately, some some things have happened. So, like I said, I'm doing a little run in and stuff like that seeing how you guys a lot of the audio seems and whatnot and wow these things are deep so i'm gonna run down them uh, like i said see how the auto audio is with me running and moving around more you know my helmet does sit loose because if i take a hit i want my helmet to fall off during world war ii stuff and beach battles and whatnot so I'm going to do a little bit of that and go from there. So I'm going to run down this and see how the audio is with me actually running. 
So, so far, the camera's still in place. Now, I'm going to go down this one, hide under the tree a little bit. Mind you, it is 86 degrees here. I am wearing pants. It is a hot one today. I'm going to take a drink of my water. So, take a look at this camera real quick. Everything's still recording. Everything's still in place. So, that is a big plus. Might have to do a little adjusting, especially if I take a hit now. Um, one thing, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't have any, you know, thing I have to say about like a certain product or events or item, things in that nature. Like I said, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. But what I will say is there's a thing, uh, item out there. If you guys are going to do any kind of reenacting War of 1812, reenacting of World War II, Germans, Americans, whatever, drink lots of water. There is a thing called liquid IVs that I found. Some of them taste really, really good. There's a pineapple one. I'm not a fan of pineapple. It's just disgusting. But they help. It's supposed to manipulate and add more water to your system. Keep you hydrated. Um, my stepsister uh, and cousins, when they had COVID, they drank that kind of stuff. It helped them keep hydrated and stuff like that. I'm out of shape. Trying to get back into shape. But being in the heat, it helps. And that's what I have in my water now. just one of those packets uh and in a bottle of water does triple your water intake like i said not sponsored by anything so that's all you guys whatever you guys want to decide to do so like i said i recommend them because uh one of the reenacting events that i did i had heat exhaustion running up a beach battle in full wool with 80 pounds of gear on your back with a nine pound rifle it takes a toll out of you especially if you're not used to running so i recommend that kind of stuff even if you're not doing reenacting you're just doing yard work you're gonna be in the heat you're not a fan of the heat i recommend that kind of stuff it's a life changer it is a game changer when it's you know being out in the heat so like i said we're running down this one it's a little bit steeper and then like I said, I know this is kind of goofy, but I want to see how the camera reacts to taking a hit. And go from there. So, like I said, this video is going to be a little all over the place. Please bear with me. Um, I want to, I'm like I said, I'm still going to post this regardless if it's good or bad or goofy and whatnot. So there's another little embankment, uh, and stuff like that. And there's other pathways that go further back towards people's houses and whatnot. But yeah, this is Fort or was Fort Miami. Uh, nice little park. So let me know what you guys think of this audio of the camera view and stuff like that i'm gonna stick it uh through an editing program and kind of see where i have the camera placement now I'm trying to keep it far forward so you don't see my big old nose and cheeks but right now i might have to put it back a little bit just because the butt of the camera is going to my ear so still some more playing around to do but i'm trying to get it all squared away before D-Day Conneaut and go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because people already think I'm weird enough doing reenacting. So like you said, let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, pass those views, subscribe if you can. See you guys next time.